then Walmart, famous Walmart over the shoulder, I'm waiting for Charlie, um, just looking him on the tracker. Charlie is about one minute away from me. Um, this is bizarre actually, we were, we were like a thousand miles apart maybe five days ago and now he's coming around the corner, he's going to be here um, just talking to a local, uh, in fact two people uh, and they've said I need to go and get some bear spray. So when Charlie gets here I'll get him to look after my bike and I'm going to go inside and buy some bear spray. Um, I think it would be stupid not to now especially so many people are warning us. <laughs> I might never have a problem, but if I do have a problem with a bear, I think I'm gonna need the bear spray anyway. Um, I need to check on the rules for the border. Um, apparently you're not allowed to cross the border with it. Well, if I'm going up into Canada and then to Alaska and then back, I kind of need it. Anyway, let's see him arrive. So there he is. Should have put me in to come on and talk to him through. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hello. Bird. Long time no see. Huh? Fancy bumping into you here. At a Walmart of all places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stiff. I don't need to know that you're stiff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm layered up as well. So Charlie's basically had to do what I've had to do and put lots of lots of layers on because it's not actually that warm, even though the sun's out. Um, in fact, you've got no wind here yesterday. Was it was four degrees over the mountain this morning. Four degrees? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I slept in. So I had to dig out my winter gloves, which were uh, about here. Yeah. I wish I'd had my muffs on. Huh? I wish I'd had my muffs. I threw away in Vancouver. <laughs> Let's not talk about the muffs. Anyway, right. so it's time for us to go and find some bear spray now because everybody's telling me that I need to go and get it. So bear spray time it is. So they have a beer, yeah? Yeah. I'll have, a, I'll have a Corona and a packet of dry roasted peanuts, please. <laughs> Go on, then. Do I have to stand clear? I don't know. I mean, I could just throw it. If you want to. There you go. Yeah, but you want it coiled up. I'm out with Charlie at the Walmart and um, we come to this old, what's it called? Oh, old trail town. Um, it's original buildings that have been relocated here and uh, it's on the site of the original Cody town, which was Buffalo Bill who started this place up in 18 something. Oh, obviously didn't put it up. Um, had a bit of a wander around. Must have been a real harsh time actually living in. Um, everything was brown. There was no exciting colour except the whorehouse, um, which was quite funny. As I walked up to it, saw the red lights, I said straight away, oh look, it's a whorehouse. And it actually generally was a whorehouse. Um, so I think the rest of the day is going to be Wild Bills, Buffalo Bills um, Museum. And tomorrow we'll be heading to Yellowstone early because by the time we faffed about it was almost midday anyway. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the geyser, 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 the big spouting water thing. Um, anyway, that was old trail town. What a day. Well, never got to Yellowstone. Uh, Mount with Charlie, went to the old trail town. Then went and had a drink in town. 
people were looking at our bikes, didn't really think too much of it. Then we went to Walmart, spent ages at Walmart, met another English rider who turned up on an 890. Then an old guy who did the Bar Half 500 and 1000 back in the day with Steve McQueen. And uh, anyway, then we left there eventually. Oh, we met another guy who also raced, uh, kind of a couple of years older than me. Then um, uh, we were looking for a campsite, ended up at this scout place on changeover day and the two guys were looking at our bikes are here. So we've been invited for a barbecue and to stop for the night. Every day is just so bizarre. It's great. Try to get on so the we're sitting here, we're standing here, waiting room. for technical <laughs> information to be deciphered on how to connect no, their two centers. You used to just ride on your own yeah. and then you'd stop and talk or shout to each other. <laughs> So we waited a long time for the geezer, the geyser behind me. Um, it was a gusher. It was it was worth it. There was a little bit of uh, pre pre squirt, but eventually it it squirted up high. Um, we sat here and waited for it. Uh, the crowd went silent. Then it got excited. Then it went silent. And eventually, all good things that come to those who wait, it squirted high. 